name this Diego Rogedo. Are you see him? Ensas! 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 Now! 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 Can you spell SAS for us? SAS? Yes. SAS, 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 SAS. Do you mean stop here? Uh -huh. Park here? Uh -huh. Where you walk? Uh -huh. iPhone? Uh -huh. On a car? Uh -huh. Enter motor? Uh -huh. Hang out? Uh -huh. Where you car? Uh -huh. Where your car? Uh -huh. Where would they go into? Uh -huh. I get POS. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. 300k? Uh -huh. 200k? Uh -huh. No pull you off 100. Uh -huh. Take my number. Uh -huh. Make you call me. Uh -huh. Take my hand. Uh -huh. yeah, shake me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Stop. hello amazing people welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing hope you all are doing good so i'm back again with another video with the title i'm sure you know what you're about to watch before we dive in guys i want to use this medium to welcome my old and my new subscribers so if this is your first time coming across this channel thank you so much my name is jennifer please do me a favor Click on that red button that says subscribe. After that, you will see a bell sign beside it. Also, click the bell and you will see the one that says all. Oh. Please click that one, okay? The essence of that bell is for you to be notified anytime I upload a new video. And for my returning subscribers, you guys are highly appreciated. So, for those who don't know what is happening in Nigeria right now, there is a protest going on for Nigerian government to completely end the so-called uh, special anti-robbery squad it a uh, popularly known as sad so there's a lot of protests even celebrities everybody you know coming out to end their own voice their own opinion so that they will end this because honestly this is really bad they are busy extracting money from the youth killing the innocent one a lot of things going on they are meant to save life but they are not they are not doing it so there's a lot of video about this protest on social media here which some of them are violent content i would have loved to share some of them so that you guys can see what people are going through how they are suffering so because of youtube policy i cannot share it i'm so sorry about that but i know some of you guys uh, must have seen some of the some of the videos so moving on my people we are still on the matter of nollywood actress chacha aka finney on her marita issue okay so her married her story has been trending over a week since she made that video where she said she's done she can no longer cope that we are going to hear her story a lot of stories a lot of fake rumors and be going on about her you know then the next thing the video surfaced that she was being diagnosed of bipolar disorder even to the extent that her um, brother came out to defend um his sister you know so guys two days later or three days later she made a video and said she was pregnant this did i have the video in my channel i think i'm going to leave the link so you can go and watch it and have a better understanding of what we're about to discuss okay so what is happening right now is that chacha ak posted this video where she and the husband they were kissing you know enjoying their life having fun so a lot of people are just talking on social media that what is really going on is it that church ek is fooling them or what that they don't understand i would have played this clip for you guys but it has background music so when uh church ak brother saw this video you know he was really surprised that he made a statement before then, you know, he was defending Chacha AK. Even to the extent he said that his sister was really suffering from this man hand. But all of a sudden, when he saw the post, you can't believe what he said. Okay, he posted this and people are really so surprised that he's still saying such. So this is what he said. I believe those that said I should fight for my sister will chill now. You cannot save who does not want to be saved. You haven't seen me for two years. Wow. When next drama pops up, I will sit with the audience and enjoy the view. Enjoy the bipolar. 
god this is this is really funny so when he posted this you know people started and uh, saying that maybe chat ik is trying to pretend to cover up you know because of what people will say i don't really know what to believe honestly even when she she posted the video of her saying that she was pregnant that the bipolar disorder make her act crazy sometimes people started you know insulting her and all of that and she blocked the comment section and some people said that she's trying to trend because it has been a long time maybe people have forgotten about her so she wants to use this opportunity to train and get followers as well that they don't understand this and uh, their game so i'm going to share a clip of what cheta Ike said about um his brother okay after watching please do comment down below okay and also give the video a thumbs up if you like it if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed up to this point please don't forget to subscribe okay so after watching help me to share the video in all social media platforms i really do appreciate all the love and the support god bless you guys so much and i will see you all in my next video okay bye but i took out my anger on him when he said did you take your drugs and Growing up, I didn't used to like to take drugs. I still don't. But look at all the drugs that they gave me from the visit to the hospital two weeks ago. Albumet, this is for pregnancy, they said. Olazepam, sulfate, folic acid, B complex, and haloperidol. I started flushing this down the toilet instead of taking them. Three days I didn't take them and it resulted in the embarrass, embarrassing display that I displayed in front of Southgate. My husband said take your drugs but I got angry with him like how dare you try to swim it like those doctors and nurses that are ill and mentally ill. That was his only crime. I flipped it on him like an enemy and I heard myself saying crazy things like I'm leaving my husband. I, I would not leave my husband. I would never leave my husband and my children and my home. My family, having a home, being Mrs. Fanny, and being mother to the beautiful children God has given me, is too much blessings to take for granted. And so I say this to, other, I say this to as many as are out there that care about me as a person and care about my brand as such I have find that. I didn't leave my home and I'm not leaving. Saying that I'm leaving with my life in the video you saw on 3rd October is one out of the many crazy things that I say and that many bipolar disorder patients say when facing episodes or crisis. I realized that the video I also made defending my husband being uh, alleged to be a wife beater has got some people even distributing more mess. My younger brother, whom the only time I have seen him, whom the last time I had seen him is May 12th last year. I had my son, Che on the 10th of May, 2019. I saw you, Aike, on the 12th of May. I have never set eye on you since then till now. It's over a year, it's almost two years. Even when I called you early this year, you didn't pick my call. You didn't return it either. And here you are out there putting fire where there's none, creating doubt so that no one will know what to believe anymore because you're my family member. But here I am seated and telling the whole world that personally, as charity, over the years, even before becoming Mrs. Fanny, there have been an age long strain between me and the AK family. So it's no surprise that my brother will come to say things that a detractor would say. IK, stop it. It's not cute. Stop it because I deserve better from you as a sibling whom I have been nothing but good to. I also realize that there are colleagues out there who, like, um, Victoria Nyama and Georgina Onoaha, I choose to translate your videos and concerns as part of you loving me because it takes love for someone to go out there and start to make proclamations or raise alarm on behalf of the person. But in this case, there is no need for any alarm that has been raised. 
that this is not me trying to save my marriage, it's not damage control. I'm pregnant for what would have been my fifth child, if not for one of the post-traumatic situations I've had in the past, all of which I have said I will translate into a movie. But hey, guys, I'm back. I'm back as Mrs. Fanny. I was discharged from the hospital on the 7th of October. My husband and I, we are in Abuja, have been for the past days. I thank him for his patience and understanding throughout this trying period. I'm so glad that I, there's finally a name for waiting to do me since. Because if now by doing something they do me, I, I wasn't really understanding. I finally do with these drugs. I finally noticed that that thing called bipolar disorder, I'm one of the many people out there that have it. And no, I'm not ashamed to say that I have it. I'm living my story and the experience out of these things. And it's a learning process and a growth call for me. And I'm embracing it totally.